NASA scientists are showing off a new spacecraft set to launch next week. It was developed at NASA Langley in Hampton, Virginia, and officials say that if you want to send a rocket into space to orbit the Earth and beyond, you need a lot of fuel to get that done quickly and safely. That's where the solar sail comes in. This spacecraft starts out small, about the size of a microwave, and then it expands to be 30 feet across. Reaching Proxima B without fuel sounds impossible? Not anymore. Caltech's latest breakthrough in laser propulsion could send a spacecraft to another star system in our lifetime. Instead of rockets, it uses light itself to propel an ultra-thin sail to insane speeds, fast enough to reach Proxima b, our closest exoplanet, in just a few decades. But there's a problem. Can this new technology actually survive the journey? Scientists just uncovered a major challenge, and solving it could change space exploration forever. When it comes to space exploration, traditional propulsion methods such as chemical rockets and ion drives have long been the backbone of our journey into space. These technologies, while groundbreaking in their time, have limitations that make them less suited for interstellar missions. Let's explore how light sails, the promising new frontier in propulsion, stack up against these conventional methods. Light sails, the future of interstellar travel to Proxima b. Unlike rockets or ion drives, light sails don't need fuel. They harness the power of light itself. Instead of carrying massive fuel tanks, a spacecraft equipped with a light sail is propelled by photons from a laser or sunlight, using radiation pressure to accelerate. This allows for continuous acceleration without refueling, solving one of the biggest challenges of deep space travel. By the way, if you love mind-blowing discoveries, hit that subscribe button because this changes everything. The biggest breakthrough? Speed. If perfected, light sails could reach up to 20% of the speed of light, reducing the travel time to Proxima b to just a few decades rather than millennia. This makes light sail propulsion the first viable technology for sending probes, or even future crewed missions, to another star system within a single human lifetime. Even more impressive, directed laser arrays on Earth or in space could continue accelerating a light sail long after launch, pushing it faster and faster as it travels. This means a properly designed light sail spacecraft could maintain momentum for years, reaching destinations that chemical rockets and ion drives never could. The future of space exploration is here. With advancements in light sail technology, we may soon witness the first mission to Proxima b, our closest neighboring exoplanet, the era of interstellar exploration is no longer just science fiction. It's becoming a reality. The revolutionary design of ultra-thin light sails. At the core of this groundbreaking development is a sail thinner than a human hair, measuring just 50 nanometers. This ultralight membrane, crafted from silicon nitride, is designed to ride on beams of light functioning similarly to a solar sail that harnesses the wind for propulsion. This new material could potentially revolutionize space travel by utilizing light pressure, which has been theorized for decades, but never practically demonstrated at such an intricate scale. Using advanced electron beam lithography, researchers created a trampoline-like structure suspended by nanoscale springs. The reason this is so significant lies in the material's ability to withstand light pressure, a critical test for practical interstellar propulsion. By achieving this, scientists can confirm that this sail could be viable for missions beyond our solar system. Key characteristics and implications. The prototype, measuring just 40 microns across, effectively mimics the behavior of a free-flying light sail. It reacts to laser light in a way that allows scientists to precisely measure its movement. This process validates a long-standing theory in space exploration, that light can indeed propel ultra-thin materials toward distant stars. However, the real challenge is ensuring this design works effectively in the harsh conditions of space, and that's where further breakthroughs are still needed. Ion drives, a step forward, but not enough for Proxima. B, ion drives have revolutionized space propulsion, offering a far more efficient alternative to traditional chemical rockets. By electrically charging and expelling ions, these systems generate thrust while consuming minimal fuel. NASA's Dawn spacecraft, for example, used ion propulsion to explore the asteroid belt, demonstrating the technology's potential for deep space travel. However, ion drives have a major limitation. Their thrust is extremely weak, while they can accelerate continuously over long periods, 
they still fall far short of the speeds needed for interstellar missions within a human lifetime. Even with years of acceleration, an ion-driven spacecraft would take tens of thousands of years to reach Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth. This is why scientists are looking beyond ion propulsion, toward a revolutionary technology that could make reaching Proxima b possible in just decades. Chemical rockets, the current standard for launching spacecraft. Chemical rockets are the tried and true propulsion system used for most space missions today. They work by burning fuel, creating a high pressure exhaust that is expelled at high speed, propelling the rocket forward. While this method has proven effective for reaching low Earth orbit, LEO, and for missions within our solar system, it has its limitations. For one, chemical rockets rely heavily on fuel, meaning they are constrained by fuel capacity. The larger the rocket, the more fuel it requires, making it inefficient for long-term space travel. Additionally, chemical rockets are slow. Even with the most powerful rockets, interstellar travel with current technology would take thousands of years. This is due to the finite amount of fuel that can be carried aboard the spacecraft, which results in a gradual decrease in acceleration over long distances. Measuring radiation, pressure with unprecedented precision. For years, scientists have hypothesized that radiation pressure, the force exerted by photons, could serve as a means to accelerate spacecraft. Now, for the first time, researchers have successfully tested and measured this effect at the nanoscale with an unprecedented level of precision. To test the concept, researchers used a high-precision argon laser to push against the membrane, causing it to vibrate. To capture even the smallest movements, an interferometer was employed. This tool can detect vibrations as small as a picometer, allowing researchers to isolate the true photon force from any external noise, such as environmental disturbances. This achievement represents a massive leap forward in understanding how light can transfer momentum to materials as tiny as the membrane used in these light sails. The data gathered will help engineers refine sail designs for maximum efficiency and reveal how different factors, such as temperature, impact performance. By fine-tuning the material's response to light, the designs can be optimized for space missions. The challenge of edge scattering. However, not everything has gone smoothly. When scientists tested the sail using off-axis laser light, simulating the real-world conditions it would face in space, a surprising issue arose. The sail's propulsion was weaker than predicted. The cause? Edge scattering. Instead of all the light contributing to the propulsion of the sail, some photons were scattered off the edges of the sail, which reduced the efficiency of the overall system. This edge scattering could become a serious obstacle for long-term interstellar travel. To address this challenge, scientists are now experimenting with a variety of solutions. For example, they are testing tapered or coated edges that would help capture more light and prevent scattering. Another potential solution involves self-correcting nanostructures that would automatically adjust the angle of the sail to optimize light capture. If researchers can overcome this problem, the efficiency of these sails could be vastly improved, bringing the dream of interstellar travel closer to reality. The future, a paradigm shift in space travel. Traditional rockets are too slow and rely too heavily on fuel to be practical for interstellar missions. Light sails, on the other hand, are emerging as a serious alternative. If perfected, they could. Achieve speeds of up to 20% of the speed of light, drastically reducing the time it would take to travel between stars. This could shrink the journey from thousands of years to just a few decades. Enable missions to explore nearby star systems, such as Proxima Centauri, the closest known star system to Earth. Make space exploration fuel-free by relying entirely on directed laser beams to propel the sail. This is not just theoretical, progress is already being made. Every breakthrough brings us closer to launching real light sail missions that could carry humanity to the stars. If you're as excited about the future of space travel as I am, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay updated on the latest developments. What do you think? Will light sails make interstellar travel possible in our lifetime? Let me know in the comments below. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.